Today, I'm going to rub it in your face with six obvious signs that prove that woman doesn't care about you at all. Forget about that idea that she's just busy, you're fooling yourself, and you need to stop playing the clown. And as a bonus, I'll teach you how to differentiate the women who are truly worth your time from those who are just using you as a pastime. Because, my friend, if you keep being this blind, you'll end up diving headfirst into an abyss of eternal frustration. But first things first, this video only popped up because someone had the good sense to like and subscribe. Now it's your turn to act like a grown-up and do the same. Comment gratitude down below so YouTube wakes up and pushes this content to more people who need a wake-up call like this. Now, without further ado, let's get straight to the point and understand why she doesn't want you, even if you were made of gold. Number one, slow replies and zero effort. Pay attention. This is the classic sign you pretend not to see. She takes ages to respond to your messages. Like, you send a hey today, and if the stars align and the gods of WhatsApp smile upon you, you might get a what's up in three days. And the cherry on top? When you finally muster up the courage to go silent to see if she notices. Nothing. Not even a reaction. There's no hint of worry. No missing you. Not even a where are you. And when she finally bothers to show up, it's with such a casual and uninterested hey that it feels as trivial as small talk about the weather with a neighbor you barely know. But you, all excited and still thinking there's hope, Reply right away, get pumped, start trying to keep the conversation going, and then, poof, she disappears again, like she has a timer that tells her when she's been nice enough not to seem completely heartless. And on the rare occasions when she does reply, it's with that cold indifference. Yeah, okay, cool. It's like she's playing a game of how few characters can I use. Now, do yourself a favor. Stop being overly optimistic and accept the reality. Do you really want to keep insisting on someone who treats you like the last option on her list? Someone who doesn't lift a finger to keep the conversation alive, much less to show they actually care. If she really wanted to be with you, you'd know it. People who care want to be present, want to talk, want to know how your day went, even if the day was a total mess. Silence and a lack of effort are the loudest screams of I don't care about you that someone can give. You're settling for crumbs of her attention when you should be with someone who treats you like a priority. So do yourself a favor and walk away. No one deserves to be the backup plan for someone who only remembers you exist when their schedule is free. Number two, avoiding hangouts. Here's the deal. You're chatting on WhatsApp. The conversation is going well. You think, I'll ask her out and you drop the invitation. And what does she do? She simply vanishes as if she'd been abducted by aliens. The conversation, which was flowing smoothly, suddenly dies. The silence is deafening. It's like you spoke in another language, or as if the message never reached her. And then, what happens when you bring it up again later? Nothing. She acts as if you've gone crazy continuing the conversation as if she were the most interested person in the world. In anything but hanging out with you? You try again. You insist once, twice, three times. But every single time you mention going out for a date, grabbing coffee, or even sharing a pack of ramen, she pulls off that ninja move to escape. A. Not today. A, I'm kinda busy. Or, at best, a vague, maybe next week. Spoiler. It's never next week. And you know what this behavior tells you? That she's into the game, but has no intention of seeing you outside of chat. It's the glaring proof that, in reality, she just likes having you on the side, as a plan B, or worse, as the virtual friend that's there to kill time and boost her ego. Now, open your eyes. If someone's truly interested, they'll want to see you even if it's just for five minutes, even if it's in the middle of the workday or while standing in line at the supermarket. If every time you ask her out, she makes excuses or pretends not to hear. It's not shyness. It's not a lack of time. It's not an astral alignment. It's a lack of interest. You're not even in her comfort zone. 
You're practically a decorative piece of furniture. You're there, you don't bother her, but you don't make a difference either. So, instead of torturing yourself and trying to make it happen, accept it. The last thing she wants is to see you in person. And believe me, you don't deserve to be the guy she avoids at all costs. Move on and find someone who actually wants to be with you. Not just chat online as if it were some fake friends with benefits setup. Number three, she's always busy. And here comes the cliche of all cliches. Oh, I'm so busy. Come on, man, stop falling for that. No one, I repeat, no one is busy all the time. Unless NASA is calling her every day for help solving space crises, the truth is just one. She simply doesn't want to spend her time with you. Everyone's life is an organized mess. Work, family, friends, Netflix, plans. But we always find a way to fit in what really matters. So if she's always pulling the I'm busy card, understand it as code. Translation, you're not even close to being a priority for me. Because when someone's really interested, guess what? Time magically appears. The week that was crazy busy suddenly has plenty of breaks. A quick lunch, a coffee at the end of the day, a meetup for just 10 minutes to say hi. But for you, it's just a sea of endless excuses. I'm swamped. This week's hectic. Maybe next month. Next month. Only if hell freezes over and she gets a spot in her agenda. Because with this story, you might as well sit down and wait. She always makes time for what matters. If you're not even on her radar, stop thinking it's due to an overload of commitments. Spoiler, it's a lack of interest. And you're there, accepting this lame story and running after her like it's a golden opportunity. Reality. For another guy. For someone she really wants to see, she'll make time. For the real crush, the one who makes her heart race, the I'm busy disappears, turning into free slots in her schedule at the speed of light. So, before playing the sentimental doormat, recognize that this busy talk is the most polite way she found to say, you're not important to me. And now it's your turn to show that you respect yourself. Are you going to keep wasting your time and energy on someone who doesn't even see you as relevant? Or are you going to put your self-esteem back in place and stop accepting crumbs from someone who clearly doesn't value you? If you're sick and tired of being the idiot she uses as a doormat, accepting any crumbs she throws your way, and then being kicked to the curb like trash whenever she feels like it, then wake up. It's time to stop swallowing disrespect and turn this dirty game around. Go to the description and grab the digital book I left for you. After reading it, you'll learn how to be a real challenge, to never bow your head again, and to put any woman in her place without mercy or regret. Enough of being stepped on and discarded like a worthless piece. If you want respect, then start acting like a man who commands it. Number four, boring conversations. Here's the classic sign you stubbornly ignore. You talk, talk, and talk. And she responds like she's being interrogated by the police. Monosyllables, lack of interest, zero questions about you. You can even feel her boredom from the other side of the screen. You try to dig up a topic that might excite her, but she doesn't engage. Worse still, she's just throwing a bunch of, oh, cool, wow, nice, and nothing more. It feels like she's doing you a huge favor just by replying. And you know what that means? Exactly what it looks like. Total disinterest. There's no excuse like, oh, maybe she's going through a rough patch or she must be distracted with other problems. Nonsense. When someone's into you, even if they're in the middle of a storm, they show interest. They want to know more about you, understand who you are, ask questions, get excited. But her? Nothing. Absolute silence. Maybe you're trying to convince yourself that she's like this because she still has an unresolved situation with her ex or she's interested in another guy. But the truth is, regardless of the chaos going on in her life, if she really wanted to connect, you'd notice even the slightest effort. And unfortunately, that's not happening. So here's the question. Are you going to keep insisting, wasting your energy on a conversation that's more dead than a fish on the beach? Are you going to stay there thinking that if you just bring up the right topic, she'll magically get interested? Wake up! 
No one deserves to be stuck in a conversation that feels more like an obligation than a genuine exchange. And the worst part is, every time you insist, you come off as that annoying guy who doesn't realize the other person is only there out of politeness or pure habit. Accept it already. If the conversation feels like a monologue, if only you are trying, she's just not into you. So, do yourself a favor. Stop feeding this illusion and focus on people who genuinely want to listen. Because in the end, keeping someone who's not willing to know you is just wasting time and banging your head against the wall. Persisting in a dead conversation is putting yourself in a ridiculous position. And if there's one thing you don't want to be, it's the guy who has to beg for attention. Number five, talking about other men. No mystery and no pity here. If she starts talking about other guys in front of you, like telling you how she found someone super interesting or even shows you pictures of her latest crush, congratulations, you've just been awarded the platonic friend badge. She's so comfortable with you that she's throwing in your face who's really catching her attention and guess what? She doesn't care at all that you're listening. You know why? Because in her head, you have no chance whatsoever. And sure, you might try to justify it with the excuse, oh, maybe she's just trying to provoke me. That's only true if you were dumb enough to mention other women to her before. In that case, buddy, she might just be playing the same game to get back at you. But if you never did that, and she suddenly starts telling you how great her date with John was, or how much she enjoyed chatting with Mark, get the message. It's not for you to feel jealous and fight for her like some medieval knight. It's for you to understand that, in her romantic priority list, you're not even in the footnotes. When a woman's interested in you, the last topic she's going to bring up is other men. And if, by some miracle, she mentions it, it's to see a spark of jealousy in your eyes, to confirm that you're into her. But when she does it casually, with no filter, it's a clear signal she doesn't see you as a suitor. She sees you as that guy she can talk about anything with, without fear of ruining anything, because... Surprise! There's nothing to ruin. You're the shoulder to cry on, the nice guy, the confidant for all her romantic messes. So, instead of looking for subtext or trying to justify it with, maybe she's confused, accept it already. If she keeps talking about her hangouts and dates with other guys, it's because she's not even considering a future with you. That's when you need to step out, because staying there, listening to her romantic adventures from the front row, is basically signing an emotional fool's certificate. Respect yourself and stop deluding yourself thinking that if you just insist a little more, she'll magically realize the right guy for her was there all along. It's not going to happen. She's already put you in the friend zone category and there's no get out of the friend zone button to solve that. So, the next time she starts talking about her new crush, take a step back, recognize the pathetic role you're playing, and for the love of self-respect, get out of that with dignity. Because the last place you want to be is in the position of the listener while she shares details of dates she'll never invite you to. Number six, she only reaches out when she needs something. Now brace yourself, because this is the final blow. The knockout that's going to make you face reality once and for all. She only remembers you exist when she needs something. You're always there, like a loyal puppy, replying instantly and giving attention. But she only looks for you when she's feeling lonely or out of options. If it's the weekend and all her other contacts have disappeared, there she is with that, Hey stranger! If she needs a little favor, a shoulder to cry on, or someone to listen to how awful her last date, which wasn't with you, of course, was. You're the one she calls. And then you, idiot, think it's an opportunity to get closer. Not a chance, buddy. It's just her most ruthless way of using you as an emotional crutch. Be honest with yourself. How many times has she reached out to you for something that didn't involve venting or asking for a favor? How many times did she want to see you without you being the one to insist? Answer, almost never. And you know why? Because in her head, you're the fix-it-all guy. The one who's available any time to solve her emotional issues, but not the guy she wants for herself. Does it hurt to hear this? Great. 
because maybe now you'll finally understand the ridiculous role you're accepting. She doesn't reach out because she misses you. She reaches out because she needs something. That good feeling you get when she finally responds or calls you out of the blue? Well, understand that as a consolation prize to keep you there on the reserve bench while she keeps living her life and looking for someone who really catches her interest. The truth is you're the backup plan. The, I've got nothing better to do. The, oh, he's nice. I'll keep him around, but it's not going anywhere. Do you really think you're getting somewhere with this? That if you just insist a little more, she'll open her eyes and fall for the guy who's always been there for her? Stop being naive! She already knows what she wants and you're not even in her top ten options. The only thing she needs from you is the reassurance that, if everything else fails, there will still be a fool willing to play the clown's role. And every time you answer this kind of call, show up running to help her, or lend an ear to her dramas, you're only reinforcing this position as her standby fool. So, here's a reality check. While you're there, wasting time, energy, and self-esteem, she's out there having fun, meeting guys who really spark her interest. You're just an emotional support, a crutch that she drops as soon as she feels strong enough. Wake up, and, for the love of yourself, stop lowering yourself to being available only when she's down. Now's the time to put an end to this. Get up, dust yourself off, and face the mirror. Respect yourself, get out of this emotional spare tire roll, and disappear once and for all, because accepting being someone's last option only shows how unfair you're being to yourself. Either you start valuing yourself and leave this pathetic situation behind, or you'll continue to be the eternal fill-in for a woman who will never see you as anything more than a plan B. The choice is yours. Will you keep crawling for a bit of attention, or will you finally show that you have the courage to value yourself? Decide now, because if you're not going to break out of this, you might as well not have watched this video up to this point. It's time to stop deceiving yourself and accept the raw truth. You deserve more than being the shoulder to cry on, more than being the guy who's given the cold shoulder, who drags himself for attention, or who accepts crumbs from someone who doesn't care about you. Every second you waste chasing someone who doesn't want you is a punch to the face of your dignity and a kick to your self-esteem. The reality is you've put yourself in this ridiculous position, and deep down you're accepting to be treated this way. And for what? To have the illusion of, at least she knows I exist? How pathetic. Stop trying to prove your worth to someone who doesn't care. If your worth isn't recognized, it's not worth insisting. The world is full of people who truly care. But as long as you're trapped in this emotional trap, you won't find anyone who truly respects you. So, either you gather the courage now and take control of your life, or you'll keep being the court jester in her circus. Get up from this zone of humiliation, look yourself in the mirror, and understand once and for all, you'll only be valued when you learn not to accept less than you deserve. And guess what? Emotional crumbs aren't what you deserve. Want someone who truly cares? Then start by cutting off those who don't see you as a priority. Stop insisting where there's clearly no future and focus on those who actually want to be with you. And that's it, sermon over. If after all of this you still want to chase after her, then good luck with your daily dose of rejection. Now, if you finally got the message, it's time to act. Go out there and do the right thing. Value yourself and turn the page. Because continuing to subject yourself to this only shows that the problem was never her. It's always been you. So, respect yourself. And with that, I end the video. If you like the content, hit like, share, subscribe to the channel, and comment down below, no more being a fool, to show that you finally got it. See you in the next one, and I hope it's with you already out of this mess.